finally today, there's a lot of talk about slowing down and mindfulness, and summertime is kind of a time when we all sort of chill out. Anyways, but today, I have a homegrown tool to help you do just that and tap into your creativity. The dedication for drawing is for everyone, simple lessons to make your creative practice a daily habit reads in part. This book is dedicated to anyone who has ever desired to make drawing a part of their life, but is too afraid to fail. One of my favorite things to say to people is, how good do we have to be at something to enjoy it and to benefit from it? Roycroft Art Center artist in residence, teacher and Western New Yorker, Kateri Ewing is the creative mind behind this mindful approach to creativity. The book is the second in a series, and she hopes it will encourage people to uncover the joy she knows awaits when pen or paint or pencil meets paper. I call it twofold joy. So when we sit down to, to make these little uh, paintings or drawings, we get joy ourselves, right? Which makes us a happier person and better able to go, go through our day in, in a good way. And then we can make two of them or even one and we can share it with someone else. I have a little stash in my bag of little things that I've made. And if I'm going through the drive for, through at Tim Hortons and the girl seems like she's having a rough time, I kind of pass it through the window, you know, hey, have a great day. And they're, they're just little paintings, but they make people smile. People might be a little bit afraid to show other people the work that they've done. Absolutely, and I and that's very true. I've been there too. And I think what we have to remember is, what if someone were to give us something like that? How would we feel about it? We would be thrilled, right? We wouldn't be judging it. Beautifully arranged, the book itself is a work of art. It's set to be released on July 20th. It'll be available pretty much everywhere, but here's a little inside tip. If you want a signed copy, check out The Bookworm in East Aurora. And you'll see that you can explore all different kinds of art in the book. And something else that's really cool is that Kateri has included work by her own students who are also beginners, so you can see just what's possible. That's our show for today. Thanks so much for being here. I'm Kate Well Chauffeur and Brian Williams. Be well, stay well. We'll see you next time.